Right guys, welcome back to a brand new video and a bit of a different one here today. Uh, the first of two videos, hopefully. The second one today um, will either be career mode or it might be an AOR race. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide later on. Uh, but either way, keep your eyes peeled later on today on your sub box for a later upload. Uh, but this video is one that I wanted to make for a couple of days now um, because it is pending and it's kind of important and I've been promising to kind of make it. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of comments recently about, you know, when we're going to go for season six team wise. Uh, people saying McLaren, Renault, Ferrari, uh, Sauber. So we're just going to try and put this all to bed and uh, try and sort this out. Now, um, in the link down below in the description, there's going to be a straw poll. Now, I do want you to click that link in the description and open it up and also vote on the team that you'd like me to go for for Season 6. I'm going to put a selection of teams, not all of them, only the ones that I'm interested in going at because they're teams that I've not raised for in this year's game yet. Now, um, on screen, you'll have in a moment's time, uh, or maybe kind of on one, to one side, I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to do it, but pretty much you'll be able to see on screen now. Um, we're going to have the performance chart, first of all, for um, how things look now. This is before the Mexican Grand Prix, which went out yesterday, so you have missed that. Check that out by clicking the card in the top right corner of your screen as well. Um, but as you can see on screen, we do have the performance chart. Now, um, it's kind of stabilized. Everyone stopped upgrading their cards, but we are currently fifth, just a hairline behind Red Bull, who are currently fourth in terms of the performance chart. Uh, Sauber lead by far. And then Renault are currently battling heavily with Ferrari. Then we've got McLaren, Williams, Torosso, Haas, and finally Racing Point Force India, which are towards the bottom. Now, um, I made a poll way back on the Belgian Grand Prix uh, Crimo video to get a bit of an indication as to what you guys would like me to do for Season 6. Um, I've also got an idea in my head of what team I'd like to drive for. But before that, I do want to get some out outside opinion and just see what you guys are generally interested in. So in the poll, I think I'm going to have Sauber. I'm going to have Renault. I'm going to have Ferrari. I'm going to have McLaren. I'm going to have Racing Point Force India. And I think I'm going to put Haas in there as well. Um, those are going to be the six teams I'm going to put up for selection. The reason I'm not doing Toro Rosso is because I've already done them in this career mode. I've also same applies to Red Bull. Uh, same applies to Mercedes, which I'm currently the team that I'm at. And I'm not doing Williams because even though I did them for just four races last season, um, I also did three seasons with Williams last season and last year's game. So, um, yeah, I want to try and also, you know, get away from a Mercedes power car if possible. So, um yeah, I know. I know the racing point is Mercedes power, but you still you got. I mean, uh, the other four teams are also available. Also, Sauber as well. I forgot about Sauber if I didn't mention them. So yeah, Sauber, Renault, Ferrari, McLaren, Racing Point, and Haas are going to be the six available. So um, yeah, pretty much. I think that's where I'm kind of at the moment. Um, we're now going to transition over to another picture because so you guys get the full understanding of why I'm doing this now. In career mode, I don't often stay with a team more than two years because I find it on the, th the third season gets a bit stale. I learned that last season when I did three seasons with Williams. So um, as you can see on screen at the moment, we have what's going to happen with the regulation change next year. This is the big reason why I'm moving teams because this is why I'm also opening up to you guys. I'm not really sure what to do. Now, you can look at the R&D tree and you can see which teams stopped developing the earliest. Considering the regulation change was announced for Belgium, you can kind of get the idea. Um, tie that in with the regulation and the R&D tree, um, we've got the engine affected, the aero and the chassis. So pretty much the cars are going to reset to zero as in like season one pace, um, depending on how much teams protect their parts. So it's going to be a very interesting one in my opinion. And it's definitely by far the biggest regulation change. You know, before I've had maybe engine and chassis or aero and chassis, like two out of the three. But this this time all three departments are being affected so it's a big one in my opinion and i think you guys could um really help me out here um and yeah like i said i've got a team in mind my team is probably mclaren and um mclaren or ferrari i'm kind of leaning towards but i'll let you guys um you know vote away in the poll so like i said in the link down below in the straw poll uh, open it up and uh, vote if you, you know, if you never voted before, I do urge you to, especially if you're an active watcher of the series and you do enjoy it because the more votes, the better, the more accurate the result will be. I'll probably also put a tweet out as well just in case and maybe even a community post just to see um, a, a general overview of what everyone thinks. But all in all, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Like I said, you've got the pictures on screen um, at the crucial time for you guys to see uh, what the situation is. Pause it, digest it, drink it in and give me your thoughts and opinions also in the comments down below, but mainly do vote on the straw poll below. With that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this short video. Like I said, a reminder, there'll be another video later on today, a second one, uh, either AOR or Karimo, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. And uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.